Matching skin to or skin color doesn't have to be difficult. In this video, I'm going to use Photoshop to show you how you can easily match the color of your skin or how you can easily even add the color of your skin. Let's get started. Now that I'm in Photoshop, you can see the face of this image and the body, they are not looking the same. And the reason is, sometimes it depends on our lighting, while other times it depends on the makeup artist. And to make this color of the skin look even, there are different ways you can do it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the gradient map to fix it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to my adjustment layer right here and click on gradient map like this. So once I click on gradient map, I'm just going to invert this gradient layer. I'm going to press on Ctrl I to invert. So after I invert it, I'll come to my gradient, not the mask. Once I click on it, I'm going to come to my properties and I'm going to see this gradient right here. So I'm going to click on the gradient and it's going to open this page for me right here. The first thing I'm going to do, just click on the middle right here to add another slider. So once you add another slider, just change the slider to 50. So after you change the slider to 50, this place right here is our shadow, Why this place right here is our mid-tones, Why this place right here is our highlight. So what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to sample the colors of the shadows, the colors of the mid-tones and the colors of the highlights. So that's what I'm trying to do. So for the shadows, I'm just going to click on this slider right here, click on it once and click on this color right here and just sample any color which I feel is the shadow in the image. So I'm going to sample this place right here on the cheek. I feel it's a shadow. I'm going to sample it and I'll click on OK. Why for the mid-tones, I'll click on this middle slider which I added for the mid-tones. I'll click on it and click on this color right here and just choose any part I think is the mid-tones. So I feel this place right here is the mid-tones. I'm going to click on it. Click on OK after that. Why for the highlights, I'm going to click on the highlight slider. Click on this color and just click on the nose right here because I feel it's the highlight. I'll click on it. And I'll click on OK. Right now, you can see we have the colors of the shadows, the colors of the mid-tones, and the colors of the highlights. And you can adjust any of them manually if you wish. So just click on it, click on color, and you can choose to make it a um, little bit darker or a little bit brighter depending on what you want. But for me, I'm just going to sample colors from the image because that's what I'll try to do. I'm going to click on these shadows again, like this, and click on OK. So after that, with my layer mask selected, I'm just going to pick my normal brush tool. Make sure your foreground color is set to white because the layer mask is on black. I'm going to zoom in and make sure you're using a soft round brush and make sure your opacity is set to 100, your flow is set to 100, smoothie, my smoothie is set to 10 and just paint on the part which I want to fix like that. So I'm going to paint on this part right here which I want to fix. And I know it's not looking good right now. I'm going to show you how you can make it look realistic and look more better. So I'm going to paint on this part right here. If you feel you brush into the background, just press S on your keyboard and just erase it or use the eraser tool and just erase it from the background. After that, what I'm going to do next, under my properties, I'm going to see my feather. I'm just going to feather it to about 10%, 10 percent, 10 pixels rather. And just cut my blend mode and change the blend mode from normal to color like that. Now you can see it's looking much more better. You can see that starting to match. What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to reduce the opacity. So I come to my opacity right here and just reduce the opacity a little bit like this. Let's, let's reduce it to about 40. 40, work, 40 works for me or 42. So let's see the before and the after. So you can choose to stop here if you want because I feel they are looking even right now. But I'm going to take this a little bit further. So I'll cut my adjustment layer again. I'll click on my hue and saturation. I'll just come to my yellows. Just reduce the saturation of the yellows a little bit. Like this. And just press alternate to my keyboard and clip it to this gradient map below. So we'll press alternate and just clip it. So everything I do right now is going to affect only this place which I paint on. So back to my adjustment layer. I'm just going to come to the yellows and just reduce the saturation again. And I'll come to my reds. Reduce the saturation a little bit like this. Okay. Now I feel it's looking better right now. So let's see our before and after. Let me just group it so you can see the before and after. This is our before. You can see how yellowish it is. And this is after our before and after. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to group them. So I'll click on this first right here, hold control, click on the grid and click on control G to group. Yeah, you can choose to stop here if you want. I feel it's looking good like this. So these are before and these are after. It's looking good like this, but I'm going to take it a little bit further. So I want to fix those places that are looking a bit yellowish. And to do that, just create a new empty layer. Pick a normal brush tool. Just sample from this part right here. I'm going to press alternate to my keyboard to sample. Once I sample, I'm just going to paint on this part right here that are looking a bit yellowish. 
okay and after that what you are going to do you come to your filter you come to your blur and you come to gaussian blur i'm just going to blur this with a radius of about 10 let's see see 10 i'll take it up let's see 40 okay i think 40 works i'm going to click on okay what i'm going to do instead of changing the blend modes to color i'm going to leave it on normal i'm going to leave the blend mode on normal and just reduce the opacity a little bit until i feel it's matching let's take it down take it down let's take it down so i feel 30 works for me so this is before and this is after the before and the after you can choose to go down more if you want i want to go down a little bit i feel it's too strong i'll just leave it at 25 or 20 let's leave it at 20 i think 20 works so this is before and this is the after so what i'm going to do next i'm going to add this to the group and let's see what started from my movie right now so this is where it was before you can see the colors are not matching at all and this is the after the before and after so from here you can choose to reduce the overall opacity if it is too much i'm going to reduce opacity to let's say 70 and see the before and the after 70 works for me because i don't want the face and the body to look exactly the same if it's exactly the same the image is going to be too flat and also because the light was focused on the subject face his face is brighter than the body so that's how it should be since i don't want the image to look flat i'm just going to leave it like this so this is the before and this is the after so let's do a quick recap the first thing I did, I created a gradient map and I just sampled the colors of the shadows, the highlights and the mittens to get the colors which I want to use to paint on the place which I want to fix. So after that, I just paint on the place where I want to fix and I change the blend mode to color and I just reduce the opacity. After I reduce the opacity, I added the hue and saturation layer just to make it match even more. And what I did with the hue and saturation, I just reduced the saturation of the yellows and the saturation of the reds. Then I created a new layer which I just sampled a color from the skin and just painted it on the place that are looking too yellowish blend everything together that's how i got it so this is the before and this is the after you can choose to create an action for that if you want i already have an action for that so this is the action this color correction once i click on it it's just going to show me to sample the colors or the metals i highlight and if you want to learn how to create your own color correction action click on this video shown up here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative